Hello guys, Dr. Brambo here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a car parking game really in a short time, like real quick. So, and I promise this would not take a lot of time, but it looks like it takes a lot of time. So first, we're going to exit the full screen, we're going to get a backdrop or like light grey so you can just go convert to bitmap go fill whatever you color what you want then then double click that I'm just going to undo that Con convert to vector now we're going to go here we're going to make a new variable called level okay now we're going to go when green flag clicked set level to one we're going to go to, we're going to sketch out one or two one or two levels so you choose what kind of level you want and you choose where you want the car to we, um start i've chosen this point so so just leave a gap there and we're going to get wind green flag clicked go to wherever you okay go to zero zero set size to your choice okay now we're going to go um to the car sprite you can just get the um you can just get the car from here like just search it up on google and you can get some get a car then you go i'll just stop that then you go when green flag clicked go to wherever you want the car to be in point in direction 90 then you get a forever loop so if the up arrow is pressed then move two steps and if the right arrow is pressed turn two degrees this way and if you lift arrow is pressed and turn two degrees that way and put that in the up arrow so that you can only turn when the up arrow is pressed now we need to make it so that you can also move backwards so let's stop that and we're going to get if down arrow is pressed and put it right after if key up arrow is pressed not inside okay not inside and then go move negative two steps and we need to make it so that you can also turn so let's go if key right arrow is pressed then turn two degrees this way and if the left arrow is pressed turn two degrees this way and let's make it so that you have to like respawn if you are touching the level like you bump so so let's go if touching level then wait one second then go to your respawn point so mine is there so i would put it there point in direction 90 so you have to um, restart and then if you go if touching finish which is that like a white square and not touching color there so you cannot just go halfway like that like you don't go halfway i'll show you what i mean so you go like that like that then like that whoops then like that go back go turn go back turn you don't you don't complete the level if you just go like that 
I'm gonna have to go the full way. Why? Ah. Oh. I'm just going to make the costume a bit bigger. Make the level a bit bigger. So that you can actually. What? No. Undo that. So that you can actually. Complete that. I'll keep it something like that. So now you can actually complete it. So you know what I mean by you can't do it. So now we once you are done with your car, so we're going to do if touch and finish and not touch and color. Wait one second, then respawn like the same code there, but we add that change level I want in there. Now we go to the finish, you know what I was talking about, it's that one. So you just sketch out um, a white square, um, but you don't do the position, you put it on zero zero and move your costume, don't put it the, in the middle, put it where you want that to be, so if I just move that there, that would just keep moving. So I'll just put that back to where it was. And for example, I wanted this to be there. So I'm just going to move that there, move that up a bit. And this is for level two. Yep. And once you're done with that, making your level, rename them as 1 and 2, and do the same with the level, 1 and 2, you so that, yes, just so that they match up. Now you're going to do when green flag is clicked, so you go there, get go to zero, 0, so it goes to fig to 90, Forever switch costume to level. Then you get when green play clicked. Forever repeat 30 times. So it will going to re so it is going to repeat that 30 times. Change ghost effect by 0.33. Change just duplicate that and change ghost effect by minus negative 0.33. And we have done. You could also add like some get a brush. Um and you do that and just make it a bit lighter. Then you could add that to so that it actually looks like a street. Yep, like that. Yes, not too big, just small enough. Okay, just small enough like that. Then just so that it actually looks like a streak, but I'm not going to do that. Now we are just going to name this whatever you want to name it as and then we are done. Now if we try that now. You can actually play around. Oops. So you go in there, go there, go back a bit, turn, back, turn, back, 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 back. Haha, <laughs> I died. Let's just give it um some gap. So I'm just gonna oh okay. I convert that's the problem when you convert it into bitmap, you cannot replace things again. But this is a bit hard, but you can actually do it. It might not be hard to you. Yeah. Okay, please subscribe, like, 
comment and yep thank you